Hey guys, it is Friday, March 1st. Woohoo, March 1st. So, um, just wanted to jump on here really quick. I'm gonna try to be really quick. You know how I am. Um, I was just watching Anita over at Chit Chat Paddywhack. Love her. She mentioned my name. Love. And I got so excited. Um, and I don't know. So, I'm, I'm stupid like that. When another YouTuber mentions my name, I get stupid. Um, and I was like, that's me, that's me. And there's no one in the car to listen to me, so I had to tell you. Anyway, I was watching Anita yesterday, and you know, I'm telling you, that woman speaks to me. Like, she says I'm talking to you, and I think she means it, I think she sees me. Because the other day she was talking about, you know, put down the snacks, you don't need the snacks. Would you rather have snacks or would you rather lose weight? Go watch that video. Because she's all worried that she's making people mad and she's upsetting somebody with the whole snack thing. Good Lord, woman, I needed to hear that. I am the type of person who needs to have a snack at the end of every meal. Maybe not breakfast, but lunch and dinner. Both get a little, little something, a little sweet something. And the little sweet something turns into a full-blown dessert every single night, which is how I was raised. Dessert every single night. And I was eating macaroons and I was eating Cool Whip and I was eating puddings and, and whatever I could get my hands on. And she said it. She said it right to me yesterday. She said, would you rather lose the weight or would you rather eat the snack? And in the moment, I'd rather eat the snack, but I want to lose the weight. Today is March 1st. Starting today, I am going to try to limit, not, not eliminate, but limit my snacking and change some of my snacking around to possibly fruits or um, smaller amounts of what I am eating. Uh, because when I say, okay, I'm going to have this, you know, um, Weight Watchers cheesecake where you can eat the whole cheesecake for one point, I tend to eat a whole big chunk of it. So I'm going to limit it. I'm going to go down some and I'm going to listen to my friend Anita who said, put down the snacks and I'm going to try to put down the snacks. So I'm on my way to work. It is almost nine because we had a two hour snow delay this morning, um, which I'm happy with. Um, good news. I start my new job on Tuesday. On Monday, we have a transition day where um, the new person comes in and we kind of show her the ropes kind of thing. And then I start my job on Tuesday. Oddly enough, the person who was in my job at the new school, the behavior intervention specialist, she's been gone for months. So there's um, no one there to kind of show me the ropes. So I'm kind of jumping in with both feet on Tuesday. Very excited. Um, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. And I will report back to you, but I just wanted to let you know that I did finally get released and I am going to get to start my new job on Tuesday, barring no snow on Monday. Now they're calling for snow on Monday, of course. So if we have a snow day on Monday and we're off school, um, then I would go to my, right, my school that I'm at now on Tuesday and I would start my new school on Wednesday. And I would almost be okay with that. Um, only because, well, not really, because if they call school off on Monday, we're supposed to have parent-teacher conferences on Tuesday, they'll be canceled and the kids would just have a regular day. So um, I would rather go on a, on a, a, a parent-teacher conference day where I can kind of meet everybody and um, there's no kids yet, but you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, what was I gonna say? There was literally something I wanted to say, and i it's gone. It's that quickly gone. I'm in a really good mood. It's Friday. I will tell you this. I jumped on the scale today. I'm not happy with what the scale says. I'm up. Um, I'm up significantly. I'm up like two and a half pounds, um, and I weigh in tomorrow. Now, again, I weigh in really early in the morning on a school day, and I weigh in at nine on a Saturday. Maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. Um, but, you know, I have been eating at home all week. I've been really diligent about my points. I've actually had rollovers, um, and I have still gained some weight. So, you know, maybe my theory of eating out um, isn't holding water, but I am going to give it another week. And, um, and I don't know if I'm going to eat at home every day next week like I did this week, but, you know, something. Um, I did have Chipotle yesterday for lunch, but I did track it. 
Um, so, but I'm sure it's saltier than I want it to be. But, you know, we'll see. And I had drank two cups of coffee this morning before I weighed. So, you know. Anyway, um, I just wanted to jump on here and say hi. See how you guys are doing. Um, today I've had an apple and my two cups of coffee. I do have my salad today. It is a um, kale uh, something salad. It's three points the way I add it up. And then I have some um, Trader Joe's chicken cilantro wontons in there um, that I will eat with my salad. I have about 18 or 19, I'll count them again, poppables. Um, I think that's three points. And then I have some grapes. So um, my salad with my wontons is one, two, th I think it's three points check that again and then my popples are three so that gives me a six point lunch um, and then I also have a um, I can't reach it an unsweetened blueberry applesauce for zero so that is kind of my day in a nutshell well, we're starting two hours late and I just ate an apple um, so I'll probably have lunch pretty soon after I get to work but that's okay um, It'll be good. I have a dinner plan of um, shake and bake chicken. One eighth of a pack of shake and bake is one point. I always count for one point, even though I make, I'm sure I'm not having an eighth of the pack. Um, and I made it on chicken breasts, not on chicken legs like I used to do. And then I have some mixed vegetables and whatnot. I'd really like some sweet potatoes to go with that. Um, but it also is Friday, so there's a good possibility we may eat out. Um, not sure yet, but I will keep you apprised of the situation. Probably not. I'll probably tell you that tomorrow. Um, anyway, um, I, I'm i feeling good. I'm in a good mood. Even though I'm up a little bit, I'm in a good mood. Oh, I just remembered what I wanted to tell you. So, um... I was reading some stuff yesterday, and I know I'm a little late to the party. I'm always late to the party when there's, like, headline news kind of thing. Um, I was reading a couple of different... I didn't read the actual article, but I heard on the news kind of as I was getting ready, and I read some stuff about Weight Watchers... I'm sorry, WW, not being happy with the new brand, branded WW. And then I read a post by Fat Dag that someone had reposted... You know, and, and his words hit home, you know. I get the wellness that works motto. And perhaps there is a program that Weight Watchers could do that is for wellness and whatnot. Wellness and whatnot, that's what it should be called. However, when I came looking for Weight Watchers, um, I was pretty healthy. I have some, some heart murmur issues, but other than that, I, I think I'm pretty healthy. Um, I was looking to lose weight. I wasn't looking to meditate and to do yoga. I do yoga, but I wasn't, and I do meditate, but I, that's not what I was looking for. I was looking for weight loss. And even a doctor, I had gone to um, a, a patient first or something. I, I think I had um, strep throat or something like that. And I went there and, you know, I, I talked to them and I, she asked me, she said, oh, last time you were here, you weighed this much. And now you weigh this much, what are you doing? I said, I'm doing Weight Watchers. And she said, oh, Weight Watchers and My Fitness Pal are my two ones that I recommend for people to do because it's really um, a healthy way to do it. And, you know, that's what I was looking for. I was looking for weight loss. Yes, I want to be healthy. And, and eventually, when I'm losing the weight, you know, Weight Watchers does it in a healthy way anyway. So... You know, it was going to happen. I was bound to get healthier. But I wasn't looking for, you know, the, the kumbaya stuff. I really wasn't. Um, now, in the meantime, I do like some of the WW stuff that they've done. I like the meditation. I like the yoga. I don't really use it too much, though, because I do that on my own. Um, I was never really happy with the freestyle program, you know? Um, I have struggled since they started freestyle. I lost the majority of my weight on smart points. Um, just the plain old, like counting for chicken, counting for shrimp, um, wasn't very much. I mean, I can eat a pound of shrimp for like two points, you know? Um, 
you know, counting for certain veggies and, and things like that, I ate, I lost the majority of my weight on Smart Points. And when they moved to freestyle, my weight loss really slowed down. And, it, you know, it may be coincidence. It may be that I've learned to manipulate the program with the, the zero point foods or with other things too. But I know for me, I, I haven't really lost a whole lot. I've yo-yoed, I've maintained um, on Smart Points. So I'm really hoping that WW, I'm going to go back to calling it Weight Watchers because even Weight Watchers knows that they, they messed it up. Um, Weight Watcher, I'm hoping that Weight Watchers takes a step back and looks at their rebrand and goes, you know what? This was dumb. Or maybe they say, you know what? We like this WW thing, right? So we're going to kind of branch over here, but we're going to bring back just the regular old Weight Watchers, maybe even go back to Smart Points without the freestyle for those people who liked that. And maybe we'll even have a, another one for classic or let's bring back simply filling. Like these programs that they've brought along the way worked for people. And I don't understand why there can't be branches within the branch. Not every single thing works for every single person, you know? And, and I hope Weight Watchers really takes a look at that. And I understand they're here to make money and it's a brand and blah, 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 blah. But you're going to make money by people like me and like all the other YouTubers and all the other ambassadors and all the other influencers who say, hey, Weight Watchers is the way to go. And I still believe that and I'm not going anywhere. But Weight Watchers, it's time to, to take a look, take a step back and figure out what you're doing. I love you, Weight Watchers but you gotta figure it out. You know, they're gonna bring Oprah back in and they're gonna wind her all back up, right? And I, I heard someone say, and I don't know that this is true, that they're gonna start calling it Weight Watchers Reimagined. That's dumb too. Just go back to being Weight Watchers. Have your WW, have a, have a button on the app that I can change my Weight Watchers to WW, Wellness That Works, when I'm in my maintenance phase. What a fabulous maintenance phase this is. Because I have maintained for a year. I haven't maintained it the weight I want to be, but I've, wait, I've, I've maintained, I've maintained. So make WW the maintenance part. You move from Weight Watchers to WW, because now I'm not a Weight Watcher anymore. I'm not watching my weight as much as I am becoming well. Call me, Weight Watchers. We'll chat. We'll talk about this. No, don't call me. Call someone else who knows. But those are my thoughts. So if you're new to this and you're thinking, hmm, should I do Weight Watchers? Yes, you should. You should. Get involved. Get in. Jump in both feet. It works. It really does. And don't worry. Weight Watchers, they're smart. They're going to come back around and they're going to say, you know what, guys? We're going to go back to basics. That's what they should call it. Weight Watchers back to basics. Because, boy, I'd sign up for that. And if they raise my rate, I'd be mad, but I'd be willing. Don't, shh, don't tell them that. All right, guys, that's pretty much all I had to say. I'm going to go back to listening to YouTube and some of my YouTube friends that I just love. And I will talk to you guys um, in a day or so. I usually don't film on weekends. You guys know that. But if I happen to, I will let you know. Have a wonderful day, guys, and I'll check back in with you in a couple of days. 